Hi, in this video I'll be doing a review of AE Juice Pack Manager and also a few of their template packs and I'll be showcasing them by showing you how easy it is to create social media content using some of their packs and also how intuitive and easy it is to use their pack manager. So we're going to be making pretty much one story and one post all using their packs and this just goes to show you that it can be done um, without wasting too much time and without getting into too much trouble um, while creating those stories. So we're going to be creating two compositions. The first one is going to be called post. It's going to be 1080 by 1080 and I've set the duration to 12 seconds. Now the second composition that we're going to create is going to be the story and it's going to be 1080 pixels um, wide and the height is going to be 1920. So I'm going to hit OK. And now I've created these two empty compositions. So to get started, after you've purchased some of the packs and actually downloaded the pack manager, you go ahead and install it and then open up After Effects and hit Window. And right here you can see your pack manager. Now you click on it and then the pack manager as a plugin loads up. Now as you can see this panel can be docked anywhere in After Effects so I'm gonna set it right there and as you can see it's a pretty well designed um, plugin. So we're gonna be using the Cyberpunk HUD pack and also the Kinetic Typography pack. So to open some of these packs that you've purchased you just click on the pack and then it loads up. Now what's interesting is that you can open a new tab right here and then also load up a different pack. So you can see that there's a lot of effort put into creating these packs and you can click right here to showcase all the different elements that come included inside of these packs. Now as you can see there are completed and ready templates for you to use but there are also separate elements. Now there are backgrounds, there's text animations, there's also sound effects in the cyberpunk pack which is something that the kinetic type pack doesn't include and then there's also various different assets which are used to create all of these um, templates so you can access all of them individually if you're a more experienced user. Now with the kinetic type pack as you can see there are some different posters that are available for you to use and then there's also some separate backgrounds and also separate titles that you can all use on their own. So to get started we're actually going to open the post composition and I'm going to show you how to easily create content for your social media. So for example we're looking to create a post and also a story which is going to tell our followers that we're about to have a huge sale. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine elements from these two packs. So I'm going to open up the cyberpunk pack and I'm going to go into the backgrounds and then I'll pick some of these backgrounds which all look interesting and obviously all of them have that cyberpunk vibe to them. So let's say I'm going to use this background. I'm simply going to drag it and then drop it into my composition. Then as you can see it loaded up pretty quickly and now I already have my background created. If you want you can double click on it and then head over into controls and right here you have some different controls to choose from. So you can change the distortion size, you can change the coloring of the background, you can also change the main background color and if there's some text on it then also you can change the color of that text but in this variant this is only a background that we're going to be using. So right now after we've selected a background I'm going to open the kinetic type pack and I'm going to go into the titles and then I'm going to use this first title because it looks really interesting and I think that these two elements will combine well together. So as you can see once I've dropped in this title I can double click on this composition and I can open up the individual controls. So what I can do is pretty much change the coloring which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to set it to yellow and I'm going to leave this red because it gives it a sort of a orange look as it drops. 
as the color is transitioning from yellow to red. Now, the next thing that you're obviously interested in is um, changing the text. So you need to double click on this text right here. And as you can see, here's the title. So I'm gonna double click on it and I'm going to simply type in um, discounts. What actually occurred here is that the word that we're using is bigger than the container composition that has this word. So to fix that, you simply have to change the size of your font. But obviously, if you have too many words which are going out of this container, then you should probably think about um, changing the number of words so that you're using less words. And now after I've changed the size of this text, I'm simply going to use the arrow keys to center it inside of this composition. So now if we go back here, you can see that the word has changed. And then if we go back to the post composition, you can see that everything has changed nicely. And since my playhead was at this point in time when I dropped in the title. The title also starts here. So to make it start together with the composition, I'm going to simply drag it and align it with the start. So now if I quickly preview this, you can see what I got. And it's a really impactful motion graphic. Now let's move on to creating a story. So for the story, we obviously want to communicate that there's a sale going on and potentially we even want to have a swipe up animation, which is going to indicate to the followers that they should swipe up and visit the page where the sale is going on. So let's open up the pack manager and let's open up the cyberpunk pack. Now there's horizontal backgrounds and there's also vertical backgrounds included with this pack. So if I navigate through the pack, I found a really interesting background set, which also reacts to the size of your composition. So you're going to see what I'm talking about right now. If I drop this in to my custom composition, which fits a story, as you can see, once it animates in, this shape actually adjusts to the borders of my composition. And it's a really interesting look, for example, for some kind of a tech sale. So the next elements that I need is obviously some titles. So I'm going to open up text animations and then the text that I'm going to select for the main sale text is this title. So I'm going to drag it and drop it into my composition. And as you can see, this is how it looks. So I'm going to use shift and arrow keys to actually reposition it in my composition. I'm going to move it above this element. And now the second text, which I'm going to use for the swipe up call is this one. So again, simply drag and drop the elements of the pack and wait for them to load. And they do load pretty quickly. And then I'm going to position it down here and I'm going to press S, which is going to open up the scale property. And I'm going to change the scale to 65. So now another thing which might be interesting is using some element which is going to indicate that there is a swipe up function. So let's take a look at the assets here. So as you can see, there's a ton of different stuff ranging from backgrounds all the way to different elements. So here's this element. Here's this globe that's being used in this story format. And now if we go all the way down, we have some interesting elements in here. And the one that I think is going to work is this one. But there's an issue and that issue is that it's going down. But let me just drop it into my composition here really quickly. And to solve that, I'm simply going to press R with it selected. And I'm going to rotate it for 180 degrees. And now if I quickly preview this, you can see that the element itself is moving up. So now the thing that's left for me is to hit S, which is going to open up the scale and scale it down to around 20%. And then I'm going to use shift and arrow keys to simply reposition it so that it goes all the way down here to the bottom. And now this is the animation that I have. So now I'm also going to move this slightly downwards. And now it's time to change this text. So first of all, I'm going to open this text 
And the first thing that you can notice here is that you can actually change the time of the endpoint and the out point, which means that the text is going to animate M before the end marker. Then it's going to stay on the screen. And then after the out marker, there's going to be an animation which is going to animate out. Now, since the duration that we have is 12 seconds, we want the text to animate out before the end. So if I set the marker here, you can see that the animation at 12 seconds isn't going to be complete. So I'm simply going to move it around 10 seconds and that's as long as it takes for the animation to complete. Now, after you've adjusted the in and the out points, you can obviously hit controls and then you can simply change the color of the text. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to select this orange. And then the final thing that remains is to change the text. So I'm going to select the text which I'm going to be changing. I'm going to double click on it and then you can type in your text. So I'm going to type in sale and then for the second text, I'm going to type in all products. So now if we go back into the story, you can see that we've successfully changed this text, but now um, our second text has disappeared and that's why we also need to adjust the in and the out point for the second text and I'm actually not going to change the in point and then I'm not going to change the coloring. I like that it's colored red. So I'm just going to open this text adjustment. I'm going to double click on this text and I'm going to type in swipe up. I'm going to change the font. And then for this smaller text, you can type in whatever you want since it's not going to be really visible, but it's going to be a nice little detail. I'm going to type in huge discounts ahead. And I'm also going to change the font so that they match. So now we can go back into this story composition. And as you can see, it's already beginning to take shape. So what we can notice right now is that we need to make this swipe up um, a bit smaller. So I'm going to change the scale to 45. I'm going to move it down a bit. And now with this animation, what we can see is that it only happens once and then it's no longer here. So to actually make it appear more, we're going to select it and we're going to press Control D. Then we're going to offset it like that, leaving a little gap so that there's no animation, then it comes in again. And I'm simply going to do this for the entire duration of this composition. And towards the end, since the text is going to animate out here, I'm not going to duplicate it anymore. So now let's do a quick preview to see how this story turned out. As you can see, it looks pretty nice and it's effective in calling your followers to actually swipe up and proceed to check out the products of the imaginary site. Now, as you can see, this pack manager is loaded with all sorts of different features and the different packs that you can get from AE Juice are all really standing out with their quality and effort that's put into them. And all of them definitely can be useful in your everyday workflow. And also what's important to mention is that the pack manager works really nice and more importantly, it's pretty functional and it helps you get the elements that you need really quickly. So that's it for this video. Make sure to check out AE Juice. There's a link in the description. And for more videos like this one and other tutorials, please check out my channel. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.